We got to get live to Jimmy Butler, the guy who knocked it down from deep a couple of back to back threes in the fourth quarter to put this game away. Uh, I mean, I take what the game gives me majority of the time. Sometimes I, I force it and take some bad shots. But in the end, uh, my teammates, my coach was like, don't lose this game, win it for us. And um, that's, that's what I was thinking uh, make the right play. And in those two um, possessions, it was a, it was a pull up three. And we look at the depth and talent of this team. It wasn't just you and score on with a big game. It was Bam filling the box score. And it was that rookie kid, Tyler Hero, on his playoff debut having a moment. What's it like that it could be collective, even if you have to be finisher, that it could be everyone with you? No, I, um, I love it. Um, Goran was stinky in the first half, too. He, he admitted it to me. But um, he came out in the second half killing, um, being the dragon who we need him to be. Tyler has been phenomenal all year long, um, and we all know what Bam brings to the table. Um, I, I've said this over and over again. Bam is the heart and soul behind his team. Um, when he's playing at a high level, it's going to be tough for anybody to beat us. Anthony Chang. Hey, Jimmy, that, that closing line you guys used today would be so Bam, Diddy, uh, Goron, and Tyler. I, I've never played together before today. Um, what works so well with their combination, and kind of how hard is it to go out there in a moment like that where you guys haven't played together in a game and make it work? Uh, basketball is easy. Just because it's a lineup that we haven't played before doesn't mean that those five guys don't know how to play together. I think everybody knows where the ball has to be and where the ball needs to go. Everybody's comfortable with anybody taking any shot. Um, and then you got a mix of great offensive players, great defensive players, um, decision makers, shooting, uh, all of the above. So I, I like that lineup, but that doesn't mean that that'll be the closing lineup in game two. Cooper Moorhead. Jimmy, the team has been a little up and down, you know, clutch minutes over the course of the regular season, but you have consistently been you know, a playmaker and you seem like you're spending a lot of time empowering other guys to make shots. Were you kind of feeling now how the team performed in those minutes during the regular season when you did or was you shot when you needed to? Um, I'm comfortable with my teammates taking any shot in the clutch. Um, I need these guys to realize that you just got to play basketball. I understand that it's the playoffs. People put a little bit more emphasis on these games, but you've been doing this all year long. My job is to, to feed those guys confidence because we need them. We need Duncan to continually shoot the ball. We need Tyler to continually hoop the way he's been doing. If K Nunn get in there, the same thing. Um, my job is to just feed them confidence and let them know that I can't do it without them. Bam can't do it without them. The Miami Heat can't do it without them. Brian Maloney. Jimmy, uh, one play, there's a, there's a kind of picture floating on the internet where it looks like you're actually talking to the fans in the game here. Uh, what was that? It looked like it was happening to steal a dunk. Were you actually uh, doing that? And, and if so, what were you, what were you saying? No, nah, one of the silly coaches was yapping at me for some reason. And um, that's what that was. It was, why are you talking to me? But um, it wasn't to the fans. I wish it was. It wasn't to anybody but that coach that decided to say whatever he decided to say to me. Luckily, he had on a mask, so I just heard him mumbling through his mask at me. Clay Ferraro. Hey, Jimmy, uh, we're talking to Bam a second ago, and he said that if, if we heard what you and, and he were saying to each other during the game, that we would think you guys were mad at each other, but that it comes from a place of brotherhood. And what's it like to have someone who that perhaps previous teammates didn't understand that when you had that level of communication, that it was coming from a place of love? Uh. I think everybody here knows what I want, and that's to win. Um, I know what Bam wants, and that's to win. So whenever we see something, when somebody's not doing what they're supposed to be doing, it's quick, you get to the point, and you get it out the way. And um, here, that's how, that's how we handle everything. We don't beat around the bush and go tell somebody to tell somebody. You go right to that person, you say it, and it's, it's, it's over with. So we had a moment, but uh, that's OK. We fixed it, and um, we move on from it. All right, Jimmy, that's it. Thank you, sir. Peace. PSG won. Shout out to Nate.